so uh, today we're going to talk about real quick uh, for a few minutes. Uh, we'll look at a few things for internet safety, okay? And a lot of these things you're going to see on here, and you're going to think, oh, this kind of stating the obvious. But it's some things that are really important that we need uh, to learn in this technology age in which we live in, okay? So, again, you know the internet safety presentation? Yes, it is. But it's important. So pay attention. So uh, I see all of you, most of you in here, are on one of these. How many, how many in here is on social media? How many take part on social media? I'm a caveman, I don't. So, <laughs> you know that. So, wait, let me say that again. Social media, social media. On one of these social, that's 100%, okay? 100% of you take part in social media. What do you get from social media? Why do you, why do you take part in social media? Why do you take part in social media? Uh, show your pictures of people. Oh, you like to show off, or, you know, maybe kill a deer, or, you know, your cool place you visit. What else? What's some, what's some things that maybe you see people put on social media? What they're eating. What? <laughs> yeah. You know, what they're eating. And it kills me. You know, I see some people show me public. What so, what, what's some bad things? You know, we're talking about, we're going to talk about some negatives about social media today, some ways that you can get in trouble. Uh, and it could be in some major trouble. And it could be some minor trouble. They can turn into major trouble. So we're going to talk about a little bit of do's and don'ts of social media. It's going to be part of what we talk about. Uh, the pediatricians, doctors, okay, they recommend that you spend no more than two hours a day on a device. Now, I had you in class. Now, we use computers in a lot of classes, so you use a computer throughout the day a lot. Now, every time I see some of y'all, y'all have your cell phones. That's right here. Y'all right? can, can multitask, or you think you can. Right. I better not see you texting and driving. That's, you know, if you go down the road today, how many people you see texting and driving? It's scary, right? It's scary how many people text and drive. But we we are so consumed with social media. Okay, how many how many of you check your social media more than ten times a day? More than ten times a day? Oh come on. <laughs> Be honest. So, I mean, if it buzzes or something, oh, I gotta see what somebody posted. Okay, so limit this time. Limit this time. You got you got to learn how to speak face to face. That's that's some of the values that we're losing. That's really not what we're talking about in here today. But you know, I, I have one of my best friends. I can call him and call him and call him and call him. Then I shoot him a text. He'll answer right back. You know that that we would rather text than speak to people. So that's something that we're we are losing. Uh, now this is really getting into the meat of what I want to talk about today: inappropriate things that take place that you know. You might can take place, or you may have done in the past, and we'll talk about a few of these things and why they'd be harmful to you. But, I mean, these are things that you all, it should be common sense. It should be, but we're talking about it. So we say it should be common sense, but have people done things like this? Send rude messages, inappropriate photos, go on and on. These are things that you should not do. What's the, what's the saying? Once you put it on, what, what it, once it's on the web, it's what? It's there forever. Okay? It is there forever. Okay? Once you send a text message, it is on the system. It is there forever, okay? So we can, you can really harm yourself by, by taking part of any of these risky behaviors here, okay? Uh, drinking, drug use, hate speech, <laughs> lewd gestures, profanity. You know, any of these things that you send via text message through social media can come back and get you in trouble, okay? And we're going to talk about a few things today and look at a few instances where people have gotten in trouble due to these types of situations. Now... You're, what, 17? Everybody's 17, 16, 17 in here, all right? So if you put something on social media, it's going to be there and stay for a while. Here's what you don't think about. This right here, your reputation. Now, I'm not talking about your high school reputation, all right? Yeah, it's going to danger that also. But what are you all going to be doing in the next three or four years? You're going to be trying to apply for what? Jobs. Jobs. College applications, okay? All is, 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 is as easy as this to get denied a job. Hey, uh, this, this uh, Jake and Mola guy is putting in for this job. What do you think about it? And they go, oh, let me show you this text message he sent me. Maybe that's three years ago. This is what kind of person he is. That can do away with the job right there. Okay, so yeah, something that we do right now can have an effect later on. So it is important. Don't think, hey, I'm still in high school. You know, it's just, it was just fun. <laughs> These type of things happen all the time and can damage your future opportunities. 100 Tennessee high school students were suspended for showing a video they were, they were cursing, okay? They were using profanity, and uh, 100 students got suspended after this video surfaced, but they did it at school, okay? 
I did it at school. We've had students get in trouble here from sending things. And, hey, that's at 12 o'clock. They were in so-and-so's class. So, I mean, you know, sometimes you just use your brain to think about it. But right and wrong is what we're talking about. So here's a little short little video, uh, and we'll talk about it. Let's, let's take a look at it first. Hey, I'm Eduardo. I'm a junior at NHS. <coughs> I'm not anything special, pretty normal. I get good grades, and my friends are pretty cool. What's up, Daddy? And even my parents aren't too bad. We love you, Mijo. I also do a little swimming. Actually, some recruiters have been checking me out. I'm hoping to get a scholarship to college, so my parents don't have to worry too much about tuition. Last week was a championship meet, and it was awesome. Our team owned, and I set a school record in freestyle. Someone from the team decided to throw a party, and it was crazy. Everyone from school was there, including the hot girl from my science class. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> People were acting so crazy, I had to take them pictures, man. I may have had a little too much fun. It probably wasn't the smartest thing to take pictures, but then I got really dumb and posted them on my page. It's just what everyone does. And I didn't even think to use my privacy settings. So once I posted them, everyone could see them and anyone could share them. I found that out when I was called to the principal's office and saw some of the pictures from my page sitting on her desk. Coach was there too. It was really disappointing. It seems like one of my so-called friends had sent them the pictures, but which one? It could have been anybody. My ex-girlfriend was always mad at me for something. One of my teammates who seemed kind of jealous. It could have even been some guy I spoke to once in the ninth grade. I guess it doesn't even matter because I'm the one who put the pictures up there in the first place. Now my principal say that I violated the student athlete code of conduct. I signed it at the beginning of the year, and it's zero tolerance, meaning no more chances. I'm off the team, goodbye scholarship. On top of that, I got suspended. I've never seen my parents so mad. Even my teammates won't talk to me. Some of them were in those pictures, and they've been called into the principal's office too. At first, I was really mad at whoever sent the pictures. What business was it of theirs? And then, I realized that as soon as I posted the pictures online, I made it their business. It was really all me. I was two kinds of stupid. I was the one who broke the rules. And then I posted the pictures online. It was one mistake after another. So that's my story. I used to be this kid. And now I'm this. And this was all I took. Chances are, you know somebody that has made a similar mistake. Maybe not that catastrophic, but you know, you you chances are you know somebody. You got a friend or a friend of a friend, you know, that has got into trouble because of social media. Okay, it happens all the time. You see it on the news. Uh, you hear about it locally uh, from different places. Even you know, even within you know our small county. <coughs> Those technological difficulties. So you gotta ask, ask yourself these questions. Sorry about that. Uh, ask yourself a few of these questions uh, about who who is it going to impact the decision that you make. This simple decision by posting or sharing. You know, is it going to impact just you, or is it going to impact others around you, or even down the road your future? So you saw here, it cost it could cost him a scholarship. Okay, so it cost him a spot on the team. So we go on and on things that it could cost you, other than just getting in trouble, you know, that, oh, God, I messed my reputation up, 
but it cost him a lot more. So too much information, okay? It spreads quick. It reaches people that you want it to reach, and it's permanent. It's there. It's there, okay? I was just talking about it. Once you put it out there, it is there. Personal information. Now, what, what do you always hear about in the news today, okay? You hear about people getting their finances what? What's the word? What's the big word? You know, they, they sell these blank protectors to protect against getting what? I'm trying to think of another way. Hmm. You get these emails, okay? You get emails that they'll ask for your personal information. You get phone, anybody ever got a phone call and they're like, hey, this is your credit card. We need to just verify your social security number and your bank account number. Okay, what, what kind of email or phone call is that? Yeah. Scam, okay, scammers, all right? But it does not have to be a scam. People can hack into your computer, your home computer. You use Wi-Fi out in public. If you put too much information out there, you, look, you leave little trails or they call them breadcrumbs, and if you put too much information out there, they can hack into your personal account. And that can happen, you know, from your computer. Or there's really no good way to protect against this, besides not giving too much information. Don't don't put information if you don't have to put information. Now you're about to start a period of your life where you're about to start filling out a lot of forms, okay, and putting a lot of personal information. You need to be careful, be a good judge, and make sure it's reliable. It's a reliable source, and you're giving correct information. For that source, okay? Passwords. How many of you are bad about making a password and making the same thing for everything? Anybody? Okay. All right. I'm guilty too. But that makes it a lot easier. What, what are you supposed to be? You set up a password. What do they want you to make a password? It includes what? Numbers. Numbers, capitalization, you know, yeah, you know, special signatures, something. You know, I'm bad about it because, you know, everybody here has a hundred million different things. But you got to remember passwords too, right? Just make it the same thing, right? That'd be easy. Well, if somebody hacks one account, they're smart enough. They're gonna say, "What else you've listed?" And they'll just hack all of them, right? Now we're lucky with the Google Chromebooks. You know, we don't we don't have to, that that has spoiled us the Google Chromebook because I I save everything, you know, save my password so I can't remember my old password most of the time. <laughs> so it's kind of it's bad to save that sometimes. Um, images, okay? It, these are pretty simple here. Don't take images of yourself you wouldn't want anybody to see. Don't share them with anybody else. And if you need to, if you have a question about appropriateness of, of whatever, talk to an adult, okay? Or if you've got something that's happened, you know, you need to talk to an adult. Can, can you get in trouble by sharing an image that somebody else has shared with you? Can you get in trouble? <laughs> what if somebody shares and gives me an image and then I forward it to everybody else? Can you get in trouble for doing that? Yes, okay? So there, there, you can get in some serious trouble for doing this, but how do you stop it? Don't send it in the first place. Okay? This little, this some stats here. Uh, teenage, uh, percentage of teenagers here that send or post sexually suggestive messages. Okay? Uh, you can read those stats for yourself. But if you're putting these kind of things on social media, and these types of people are out there that are trolling, and they're looking for somebody uh, to prey upon, okay? Uh, they're sexual predators. If they come to your page and you have, you know, you posted these sexy photos or these photos that you thought, oh, I look good today in this, and you're making all these these poses or whatever, what does that lead them to believe? I mean, they're, they're, already, looking, they're already looking for somebody to target, but you put photos of yourself kind of inviting this person to come to your page and to start messaging you, okay? This is how those types of things get started, right? Just they're, they're informal, they're accidental. Nobody does this on purpose for the most part. Okay, so be careful what kind of images you're putting out there. Uh, you have to write and say no to inappropriate requests. Here's a good rule. If you don't know them, don't accept them on social media sites. Block them. Alright, so 91% of teens with smartphones use social networking sites. We were 100% in here. 100%. Okay, so we revolve around technology. This is just a small portion, just, just a small portion of several things we're going to talk about over the next few weeks of the, the importance of being safe on the internet. Okay, internet safety, you're thinking, hey, I'm in 11th grade, this is nonsense. It happens every day, right? We right. hear about it every day. Every day, but you know, our Chromebooks are, y'all are trying to, you're, they're protecting us with our protection from the camera. So y'all are blocked, and I know y'all. 
know, it's Facebook blocked and all those things are blocked for a reason. So people can't get to you through the school. That's why things are blocked. And that's why some YouTube videos and, and there's some websites that might be blocked, but if there's something Coach Ashley made, he can contact the tech office and they can unblock those. But they're, they're blocked for a reason. Because people prey on teenagers and they know a school website because you have a school web address, they know that that's kids using it. So they're having a way to get to you because that's how those things are blocked. And that's why a lot of things are blocked. It's really for your protection. Whether you think you need it or not. Most of you in here are like, oh, I don't need that. You know, it's never going to happen to me. How many people have said that have happened to you? You know, we, we can look at those stats. So anybody got any questions, comments? Anybody got anything to add? So, that's all I got for you.